Hello, everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. A little bit of closure. That's what Robert Duncan's family is getting. You'll remember the 17-year-old Legacy High School student died violently. He was shot in the head and chest during an attempted drug deal, then left for dead just before the new year in 2019. This is the young man that pulled the trigger, Zayden Haynes. He was sentenced to 99 years in prison. His first chance at parole will be in 30 years from now. Hayes is one of five teens charged in the murder case. Tonight, Robert's mom, Silver Nichols, is talking about the sentencing, telling News West 9 Sammy Steele, justice has been served. Sammy, you've been following this story from the start. You're in the area where the sheriff's deputies found Robert's body almost two years ago. That's just south of I-20 at Loop 250. Sammy, how is Robert's mom feeling right now? Relieved, Crystal. That's how I would describe Silver Nichols. I was with her when her son was missing and after his body has had been found. Today's sentencing, well, she tells me that it's brought her a sense of peace, so she's able to move forward. But all of these moments are such joyful moments. There's a story with every one of them. This is what life has been like for Silver Nichols. He wanted this walker. It looked like holding on to memories of her late son, Robert Duncan. What could have been? It's felt like every bit of two years and it's felt like yesterday. This whole entire time. Robert had been missing for five days before his body was found. It's hard. I, I don't. I really don't wish it on any any mother or sister or brother, anybody to lose. It's indescribable. I can't describe the pain that it is. It's nowhere near the pain of giving birth. It's nowhere near getting into a car wreck and being in a full body cast. I, I feel like I've completely just lost my existence. It has his name and then forever on it. Yesterday, the end of one chapter and the beginning of another for Silver. She was in the courtroom when Zayden Hayes' verdict was read. You know, each one of us let out a, a very soft, quiet, but it sounded like a church choir. Just all, all of us simultaneously, just at the same time. So it actually was very loud when it came out from all of us together in sync. And, it, and I was just... And may, I was like, wow, you know, because I really felt nervous and worried that he, the jurors would look at him as a child, but he's not a child. Zayden was the first of the five teens to be sentenced. He was actually on felony probation for unlawful possession of a gun and for possession of marijuana with intent when he took my son's life. He knew already the consequences. He already knew that there were consequences to his actions and it didn't stop him. It didn't sway him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't carry a gun. Maybe I shouldn't do this. He had no regard for the law and he has no regard for human life. Now, the next person on the docket charged in this case is Larry West. He, too, faces capital murder charges. But here's something that we learned about West. He has recently fired his attorney, and by law, that attorney has a certain amount of time to get familiar with the case before it heads to trial. So we are thinking that Larry West's trial will be sometime this spring. Reporting in Midland County, I'm Sammy Steele. Back to you. Well, here's a look at all five teenagers who face charges in Duncan's case. Again, Zayden Haynes was the first to be sentenced. The next trial, as you heard, Larry West. He faces capital murder. It's set for this spring. Rogelio Cardena is charged with murder. We don't know when his trial is up. The other two face misdemeanor charges. Rogelio Vasquez is charged with tampering with evidence. John Hayes faces interference with public duties, but that charge is not in connection with Duncan's death.